Now, in our area, another warm and muggy night, and that fog that has blanketed the region all week could return. But there are some changes ahead for the weekend. Let's check it all out now with Kate. Hey. Hey, Yuki. Yeah, a beautiful night once again. We've had basically a stretch of lovely afternoons and evenings. Preceded by very ugly mornings all week long, and today was no different. It was a foggy, misty, drizzly morning, but now the evening looking good. We're seeing the sun break through the clouds in many spots. Still a lot of cloud cover hanging on, but you can see in Bethlehem it's a lovely Friday night. Good night to do some outdoor dining, perhaps, as temperatures will be holding right around 70 degrees around the dinner hour. And it looks like a lot of cars thinking about doing just that along Main Street there in Bethlehem. Lots of good restaurants, including, of course, the Hotel Bethlehem, where our camera is located. 69 degrees right Right now in Trenton, it's 68 in Allentown, 71, partly cloudy in Philadelphia, 68 degrees in Wilmington. It's a little cooler down the shore, and uh, marine influence and ocean breeze here as temperatures only in the mid 60s in Atlantic City and in Wildwood. But here comes the front that's going to bring some changes for the weekend. It's right about here. There's actually a severe thunderstorm warning near Cleveland and a tornado warning here south of Cincinnati over portions of Indiana as this front comes through. Now, I don't think it's going to produce any severe weather for us. There's just not a lot of the ingredients that we need the lift and the moisture as this front comes through tomorrow to create any severe weather, but there will be a few spotty showers. Right now, it's pretty quiet. We've got a few patchy clouds. It should stay clear through the first part of tonight. And then overnight, the fog forms again. Likely after midnight into early tomorrow morning, we will see patches of locally dense fog. 59 degrees will be the overnight low for you. And tomorrow is another mild day. 70 degrees the daytime high. But remember in your mind that night, the tonight's low, 59 degrees, because Sunday's high will not even get as warm as tonight's low. That's how much cooler it's going to get behind this front for the weekend. So tomorrow's 70, morning fog, then some sun in the afternoon. There will be the chance for a stray shower. As far as visibility is concerned, we wake up tomorrow morning, visibility overnight drops, and then 4.30 a.m. down to around a half a mile. 8 a.m., some visibility is near zero with patchy dense fog. It starts to mix out by 10 or 11 once again and then clears out completely at night. So, once again, well above average today and tomorrow. Here comes the front tomorrow, and then it's just hanging out. It's just uh, becomes a stationary boundary, really, off to the south here on Sunday, and that'll bring a few showers across portions of Delaware and extreme South Jersey. Timing this out, front comes through tomorrow midday. Here's your chance of showers around 3, 3 30, clearing out in the evening, but Sunday is a split day. The farther north you go, the more sun you'll see. To the south, we've got the chance for showers, possibly even getting close to the city on Sunday evening. And it's much, much cooler. Almost a 15 degree drop in temperature from 70 tomorrow to just 56 on Sunday. But then that same boundary lifts back north as a warm front. So we're back to near 70 Monday with another chance for showers Tuesday as well. And it does look unsettled much of next week, turning colder again by Friday. Natasha, we'll send it back over to you. All right, Kate, thank you so much. Well,